This is one of several million slum areas across India. Many here have migrated from their home states looking for work or a better life. Some may even be refugees from neighbouring countries like Bangladesh, but they'd never admit it and you wouldn't see the difference. There's no work back home. That's why we have all come here. They act, speak and behave like any other Indian. Some have even forged documents to say they are Indian. Yet on Sunday, BJP leader Narendra Modi made it very clear how his government would deal with illegal immigrants, especially those from Bangladesh. Come May the 16th and you Bangladeshis better be packing your bags and preparing to leave. Speaking at the heart of West Bengal state, these have been the sharpest comments he made about illegal immigration. It worries some who see Modi playing divisive ethnic politics. We're all Bengalis here. Modi is a Hindustani and so are we. Many refugees from Bangladesh have been here for decades. How can they throw us out? If Modi comes for us, we'll get back at him. The government needs to figure out where shall we all go. We're all Indians. Where can we go? They are driving out Bengalis from Assam and alienating Muslims. In February, Modi made a speech on the same subject in northeastern Assam, a supporting migration to the state of Hindus from Bangladesh. It's the same state that nearly two years ago saw Muslims who've lived here for years driven from their homes in communal violence that left over 70 dead and hundreds seeking shelter in refugee camps. There are two weeks of the general election left and several voting days to go. Mr Modi's comments will resonate in slum areas like this, in large urban cities and in the states that surround Bangladesh. But will it make any difference? Well, we won't know until May the 16th. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.